So let's talk about setting our host name in an Ubuntu server. Now, first off, discovering the host name that we have. On your prompt, you're gonna see my prompt is David, that's my username, at bassett311.demo. Now that is my host name. Now the prompt will actually only display up to the full, uh, first period of the host name. So if you have a fully qualified domain name, it will only display the first part of it. Now I can view it by and the whole thing by entering the command host name, and that will tell me in this case, I don't have a fully qualified domain name. That's okay. I'm going to set one in a minute. That's not a big deal. But this will tell me what my host name is. Now, this is actually stored in a file. The file is forward slash etc forward slash host name. So if I cat the file, you'll see there that we have that file name. Now, when it comes to changing it, there's two ways to do it. Number one, I can edit that file. I can also use the hostname ctl command. So if we do hostname ctl, and I'm going to do a dash h here so you can see the options. Here we see set hostname, and that's how we can change it. And I'm going to have to sudo it. So sudo hostname ctl set hostname, and I want to change this to demo.basset. 311.local and provide my credentials. And I don't need the dash set host name. There we go. That looks better. Got to stop putting a dash where I don't need them. So that sets our host name. So now if I look at my, let me clear my screen here. So this will give us less clutter. Now, if I cat etc host name, you'll see that now I have demo dot basset three eleven dot local. Now you'll also notice that it's still showing me basset three eleven demo here, and that's because I haven't reset my shell. So I'm going to go ahead and let's do this. I'm going to exit and then I'm going to log in again. That resets my shell, and now notice I'm at David at demo, and it doesn't show me the whole thing unless I issue my hostname command, where it shows me the entire thing. Now, that's how you change the hostname, but there is kind of a little catch here, and that is we might start getting errors before long that we can't resolve our own hostname. The reason we can't is because this changes a hostname file, cat etc hostname and you'll see that it's changed the hostname file but it doesn't change the hosts file so i'm going to do cat etc hosts and this is our name resolution file and you'll notice right here 127.0.1.1 is still set to my old host name basset311.local that doesn't update so if I want to update that host file, I'm going to have to do that independently. And here's going to be the command. Uh, I'm going to sudo nano etc hosts. And now I can come in and change it. And I'm going to do demo dot basset. 311.local. And then I'm also going to do demo. So either of those two names will resolve to 127.0.1.1. We'll talk more about name resolution a little bit later on. So I'm going to write that out and exit. Clear my screen. And then we can look at uh, that file, cat etc hosts. And you'll see that we are now updated. So at this point, my host name has been updated and my system is set to use its new host name.